Yes, Paul Daniel. Yes, sir. Right. And Paul, how long are you hunting? 30 years now. 30 years now. You hunting in the same area castle? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. And what, what you want to say about, what you think about the hunting season this year? You get plenty of animals or you didn't get plenty of animals? I get plenty of animals this year. Have plenty of animals. More than last season. Have an animal. Right, so you didn't have no problem with no thing at all? No, no, no problem. There are good dogs. Okay. And, uh, so we wanted to encourage you, encourage any little boys to come and hunt with you or anything? Yeah, well, I encourage them, my son, them to come in the bush and things. So it's coming when they had the time. They're working. Right. So. so this thing about having to close the season for um for animals to produce, that is necessary. That's not they, they're necessary. Uh, yeah. Have an animal. Right. Once you have good dog, yeah, you get some animal. And you is a good tea hunter. Yeah, good tea hunter. Your name is what? Kesta. My name is Kesta Robinson. Kesta Robinson. And you from which part? That Gas Gasparo. But you're hunting up in Gatsil here all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What do you have to say about the season, boy? Oh, well, the season's good. It's a real game. I want to say it. It's better than last year, you know. It's a real game. It's a real game. It's a real, game. Real, real good tea. But you is a good tea hunter? Yeah. yeah. So most likely you could only say you're talking about good tea or you're catching one with the other animals? No, well, you catch a little good tea. Sometimes you catch a little lap. But more booties beyond. Alright. So what do you want to say about the people they the closing of the season for for animals to reproduce? Like I mean we know the season or something. Like season. No, that they're making no sense. That they're making no sense because no, people. No, they're making no sense. We we banning season for what? And people still hunting anyway. No, and they would have had to do it, they'd have come down on the poachers and them, the men are hunting right through here. They would have had to deal with the care we remember at the end of the day. We're taking out, we permit, and we hunting according to the law. There's men and them who hunting right through there. they even taking out a permit. Yeah. But they are killed, what they kill, what they kill, killing everything. So, that is the problem. Yeah. They don't need to enforce the law, they deal with the poachers. Well, but otherwise the forest is producing well. Nah, everything yeah. good. Everything, everything good. good. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. your name is... Um... Jamie and Daniel. Daniel. And where you live? Back. Back for. All right. Um, you've been a hunter. How long have you hunted? I've uh, been about 18 years. 18 years. And during the period of time you're hunting, is you hunting in cattle? Yes. All right. Um, what type of animals do you hunt? Uh, we use more on lavender too, but plenty of times on booty. All right. You use more lavender. How do you find the season this year? Right? Like you feel you find it have plenty of animals here? Yeah, you have yeah. plenty of animals, especially down to the closing area, meeting plenty of young ones coming up. Right. So you believe that the season is good? Like the the um we don't have need to close the season indefinitely. Uh no, because when it is close like normally for the normal time, that is about enough because when you leave the season longer than that they give in the Poachers and then more space to, to kill all the animals or to do whatever they want in the forest. Right. But you believe that we have sufficient time. The forest is producing the amount of animals as we see. We, we, we get now sufficiently. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But you catch our good yeah, food yeah. this year. Yeah, we get our good food, but the feeding are plenty because they're going to move to suit the feeding. So that way, we're going to see how we have in our area. They're going to next year to find feeding. Right. So that way animals move back on the feeding is. Right, but what about um the areas? You you keep on moving them from area to area where you hunt one area? No, we hunt one area. Hunt one area. What about hunters? You feel they have increased hunting this year? More hunters? Yeah, I see plenty new faces but I never seen in a long time. Okay. Plenty, plenty. But that is probably because they have the new oil liner, the 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 cutting there. We can't have too much hunters going into those areas. You feel that's responsible? Yeah, okay. Those who cut the long trees and things, the hunters got to move from that area because there's constant noise, so they can't hunt comfortable. Right. Well, what um, what you have to say to tell hunters in general for the season coming in? Tell them, look, don't go and hunt in the close season at all. 
Well, I would, would not advise nobody to hunt in the close season because they give the animal enough time to multiply back and things when the season do open back. You could have a good enough asset to animal as they open back the season. Alright. Alright, you got nice talking here. Okay.